Hi there, a few things that I forgot to do um, in the staging area yeah, was to create a staging area so as you can see here, if I just refresh this oops, we have a data warehouse area in Redshift and the idea is <clears throat> you in our historic load we just loaded everything over here into the A from the um, S3 bucket into AWS Redshift. But the thing is that went straight into the data warehouse layer. So when you're doing incremental load, what perhaps you want to do is have a staging area where you bring in the delta of the data. So you don't want to bring in the whole bunch of everything that's inside the table each time you just want to bring in the latest ones so like maybe rows from 10 days ago so you bring that in and then you put that in a separate area called the staging area and then you amalgamate the two by first deleting the staging area whatever is in the data warehouse layer that corresponds to the new staging fields the new fields new uh, sort of 10 days last 10 days worth of rows that just came in so you delete that those ones the ones that you're about to put in you delete that from the data warehouse and then you just merge it back so then you write in those new table um, records so it might have updated records or it might also have some records that are not in your data warehouse layer yet so those ones will just be written in and if they're not there then they won't be deleted so that's how you really do incremental load so you need the staging area and that's what I'm going to do here so at the moment inside Amazon Redshift we have only the data warehouse so we, I've, we're going to create another schema called DWH underscore staging so just create that here like so then you'll see if I refresh this we get another one here and then inside if we create a table which is just exactly the same table but it's going to be in a different staging um, area schema so it's just the same table here under another schema okay so that's that bit done now what I have to remember to do is just have a look here at the kind of rows that we have here because we've done the historic load we've got one to five the idea is to do an incremental load and then that will um, be the more latest figures that are from the 26th of April and then those will go from 6 to 10 and then they'll just be incremented they'll just be added to the end here appended to the end so that's the idea of this incremental load that we're going to simulate and now <laughs> what we need is a okay the next thing that we need to do is a, a little connection in AWS so we need a connection for our glue this is just setting things up we need to set up uh, a role and we need to set up a connection so let's set up the connection first connection here you go to AWS glue so from here what I would do is just go into this main window and then you open our glue glue then has all these things on the left hand side you, you click into connection and then add a connection here give it a name on redshift because we're connecting to redshift right we're using glue to connect to redshift so i'm going to call it on redshift connection and then it's just going to have a name oh engine sorry a redshift and then we're going to choose the cluster the cluster that we have and then it has all these things that are already met automatically nicely filled in for us and then all of this finished now we have this on redshift connection 
The other thing then, oh, so we're going to use that later in a bit. The next thing here is to sort out a, a role. So let's create a new role. So this is the same kind of place. You go into here, IAM, and then go into role, roles, and then scroll down, create a role. So AWS service, and then go down to glue, click a glue here. Glue gets highlighted down here, next. And then here, this is where we um, add some of these policies here. So the first one we want to have, is, let's see, I have a list here. AWS S3, so we want S3, full access to S3. So you, what you do is you just check them along here and then you look for other ones and then it will remember it. So, um, you want glue, service, so let's, look, let's look for glue, G-L-U-E. So we want glue, uh, full access to the console, AWS glue console full access. And we want glue service role, this one down here. And then finally, we want Redshift, Red Shift, <clears throat> Redshift full access. And then that's the four that we need. That's perfect. So now we will go to the next bit. And then you don't need that. You give the role a name. I'll call it Hon glue roll on glue roll and the next okay and then there it is here so we've set up the roll and we've set up the connection and now we are going to and we've set up the um, uh, the staging area. Now we're going to go into glue and start making this uh, thing. But first I want to show you in Python this script that I have. So inside here, and it's, this is going to be in the um, notes as well for this video. So what you do is I'll just show you in here and then I'll pause the video and copy and paste in the one with the pi with the password because I don't want to show you that. So this one has got all these X's for the password, you know the user username and this host thing here. So this is what it is, right? And this secret thing didn't really work, so I just hard coded the username and password. That seemed to work for me, had less trouble with that. So it uses Botto3 and then Jason, and then, uh, yeah, from all these things that you have to import. And then and that's, you do that stuff, and your region is that. You set these variables up here, username and passwords, also these variables and hosts, and then basically, you use db and then using the db um, function here and then it has all these things you just add it in port username and then that creates your connection and then you're using that and this is going to be just very similar to the query that we had before here that just did a bulk load from uh, aws redshift so you remember that that was um from yeah, that was down here. So it just looked like this. So this stuff just looks very similar what you're doing in Python. So here, embedded this stuff. Embedded SQL, really, with a beginning and an end. And then what you're doing here, though, after, you, after you've brought in this staging into the staging area, then you're doing that replace part where you first delete in from the data warehouse version of the table the things that are inside the staging version of the table so that's the delete part and then after that you do the insert part so you're inserting everything from the staging part into the data warehouse table version of the table 
and then that's it. The last thing, then you just clean up by truncating the staging table. So that pretty much is all that you is your sort of your glue job in Python. So I'm going to when I get to the bit where I need to copy in the Python code, I'm just going to come into this other file here that has the password in it and then paste it in. Before that, I'll pause the video, then paste it in, and then we'll come back. But anyway, here, how do we do this kind of stuff? We go into glue. Here, this is where we were before, doing the connections. Then down here, you have a jobs. And these are ones before. So I add a new job. And this, I'm gonna, this is where I put a new job on glue job. And so it can it has to have the role that we just made on glue role it has to be python python shell then it has to be one that we're going to author so all this stuff comes down here but you don't have to worry about it um because we're going to just edit it inside here in a bit so all this stuff you just don't worry about and then click next and then this is where you select that connection that we just made. So you select this one so that, so that it appears on the right hand side. And then you um, save the job and edit the script. So this is where you can just type in some Python. So what I'm going to do is just grab the Python from the other Th that text that we just had. So that requires me pausing the video. Du, 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 du. Where is the thing to pause the video? Here it is. Okay. So I have now just pasted in the code and the password and username is all the way up there. And then we have all this stuff here. So it's all the things that you've seen before, but just with the password and pasted in, in, in here. And now we just save it. We save it. And then, I think that's saved. Then what we do is we run the job like this. So it's executing and it take, it'll take a while. So I will pause the video recording as well again. Okay, so you see that bit where it used to say it was running. Now it says run job, so that means it's finished. So now we can just go and check it. So the way we do that is we know what it was supposed to do. It was supposed to um, write some more records into here. So before we just had one to five. So if it all went to plan, then it should have some more records in here. So let's see. Great. So what we have now, if we just roll this up a bit, is 1 to 10. So it's very successful. So we have 1 to 5. And that was the stuff that we did historically up to here. And then from 6 to 10, that's the stuff that we did incrementally using glue by pulling that up um, using Python. So the next thing to do is to create a lambda function that's going to de going to detect a change on the file in AWS S3. And when it sees a change in that, then it's going to fire off the glue job. So that's the next bit. So thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.